Lesson number 31 Storage Media By the end of this lesson, you should explain the relationship between different measures of storage media capacities. In lessons 5 and 6, we discussed storage media and devices in details. For more information on this topic, kindly check out the stated lessons. In this particular lesson, we will compare the relationship between different measures of storage media capacities. We will also discuss the differences between primary and secondary memory. In order for you to clearly understand the relationship between different measures of storage media capacities, you definitely need to know that the computer uses two types of memory, that is primary and secondary memory. The best example of primary computer memory is the random access memory or RAM. On the other hand, the hard disk drive or the HDD is a perfect example of secondary memory. You should also note that the RAM is also known as the main memory of the computer. What are the main functions of primary memory in the computer? The primary memory or random access memory is used by the computer to store programs, instructions, data and some operating system files while the computer is running. The RAM is also used by the processor and other parts of the computer system for storage of data as the computer runs. At this point, you should note that the bigger the storage capacity of the RAM, the faster the computer will be, especially if the processor's speed is good as well. The capacity size of the RAM range from 1 GB to 68 GB and even more. The primary memory is volatile. This means that it doesn't store data permanently. When the computer is shut down, all the data stored on the RAM is deleted. What is secondary memory and what are its functions? The secondary memory of the computer system consists of storage devices and media such as internal and external hard disk drives, cloud storage services, USB flash drives, memory cards, CDs, 
DVDs, and other backup storage services. You have so far learned that primary memory is volatile, which means that it does not store data or information on permanent basis. On contrary, secondary memory stores information, data, and instructions permanently. This means that data, information, or instructions stored on secondary memory can be kept and retrieved at any given time. You should also note that storage capacities of secondary memory differ depending on the device or media. But in most cases, secondary memory have bigger memory capacities than primary memory. Summary. In this lesson, you learn that there are two types of memory, that is primary and secondary memory. You also learn that primary memory is volatile while secondary memory is permanent and that the RAM is an example of the primary memory while the hard disk drive is a good representation of the secondary memory. Further, you learned that storage capacities of both primary and secondary memory vary depending on the device or media and that secondary memory has more storage capacity than primary memory. Revision exercise A. Why do you think secondary memory has more storage capacity than primary memory? B. Give examples of 1. Primary memory 2. Secondary memory C. Define the term volatile 